Hello everyone and welcome back to Homebody. This is episode 3. I made the mistake of recording an entire video of Amnesia while being muted. What is this? Hey Emily. Pete? I know that look on your face. You've been trying- you've been tying yourself in knots. Running this night through your head over and over again trying to think of a way out. You see the house with its door locked and power out. Some kind of walking metaphor roaming its halls. You see me in the woods with my throat slit. Am I right about that last part? I don't know. Maybe you've got something to do with this. Who's to say? Not to state the obvious, but you've got to get out of there. Have you tried the front door? It's got a weird lock on it. Might be a good place to start. Okay, that's all I have for now. See you again soon. So... I assume it expected me to get further than I was. Regardless, I messed up with that. The front door is locked. So, we're gonna go back into this. Let's see, what is this? Locking mechanism doesn't have power. Yellow cable leads out of the power box in the living room. Gotta get out of here. What if that thing shows up again? Front door might be the only way to hear. I'll, if, I'll have to figure out this lock. Okay, well, time goes fast. We know that the suitcase is... Empty. My suitcase, it's empty. What the hell's wrong with me? I don't remember the controls. There we go. Okay, so I have to follow this weird yellow cable, so that means I have to solve this... Yellow glow, black and black striped cable coming from the bottom of the box to the floor. Yellow cable leaves from the left of the box to the foyer. Teal cable leaves from the bot right side to the ceiling. Okay. Hey, Cliff. Look who's here. Hi, Emily. Do you know anything about synthesizers? Synthesizers? Nope. Maybe that's the kind of thing Megan would know about. You guys already went out to watch the Crusades? We went last night, yeah. It was a bummer not to have a whole group here, but it was good. Did you actually see a comet? Yeah, it's corny as but when I saw it, my eyes actually welled up. Was it hard to convince the others to climb up on that jagged rock with you? It was. Especially Francine. She was not psyched about it after what happened last time. And somehow my steady demeanor wasn't helping. She got used to it, though. Honestly, it wasn't the same without you there. Aw. You have a way with these guys. And last night, it would have helped. At times, you could have cut the tension out there with a fucking knife. I swore. In the middle of that. Anyways. Because Pete and I were late? Maybe? I think everybody's aware of how much time has passed. And is wondering whether this tradition is worth keeping alive. What's the plan for tonight? I'm happy doing whatever. Once I'm done with the food, we're gonna, we're gonna eat. Then I think the plan was literally question mark. This house is kind of spooky, huh? I guess. Why don't you go catch up with the others? Yeah, that's probably a good idea, but I need to talk to Megan. Emily, congratulations on Pumberton. Oh, thanks. It was pretty fun to do. It's silly, you know, it's not much, but it's cool. How did it feel when you finally got to hold the thing you made in your hands? Really bizarre, but cool. Definitely. It is kind of mortifying to see crappy art on thousands of nice, glossy pages like that. Like, oh crap, some poor schmuck is going to pay money for this? Hey, this poor schmuck is happy with his purchase. Your work looks really nice. The ghost stuff is incredible. <laughs> um, thank you again. Emily, you're allowed to accept a compliment. That sounds fake and like a scam. <laughs> okay, Cliff. <laughs> Megan, do you know anything about synthesizers? Oh yeah, I've dabbled in that kind of thing. Was it that obvious? Guess so. Well, I mean, there's a zillion different types of pet, uh... Of pad but usually they have an array of buttons that play samples 
If the pad supports playing multiple samples in sequence, there will be columns of buttons from left to right that represent the order the samples get played in. You choose what sample plays by pressing the button from top to bottom. Below each one of the columns of samples, there will be a switch with multiple positions representing the pitch the sample plays at. Pushing the, switch is, uh, pushing the switch up plays the sound at a higher pitch. Pushing the switch down plays at the lower pitch. Keeping the switch in the middle plays the sample at a neutral pitch. Hmm. Can you tell me a thing about Minesweeper? Like the old PC game? Wait, have you not played Minesweeper? Of course I have. It was installed on like every computer I had when I was a kid. Okay, dope. I always wonder if that stuff actually filters down to young people. Like, do kids even know how to play Solitaire anymore? I have Solitaire on my phone. Oh, cool. So do I. Come to think of it, I've never actually played that game with real cards. I'd probably be totally lost. Anyway, I don't know much about the history of Minesweeper, but I know it's pre-installed on Windows since, like, 95. Why do you want to know about it? I was messing with the computer upstairs. It has Minesweeper or not, and I can't figure out anything else about it. Whoa, there's an old computer upstairs? I need to check it out. Francine and Gary have been staring, sleeping in the bedrooms upstairs, so I haven't really had a reason to look around up there. Okay, so we know a little bit about Minesweeper and Synthesizers now. <coughs> that thing starts coming down at about 11 to attack us. That's locked. What is this? That's a keypad. Um... That's not happening. Somebody is going off on their motorcycle. That's not a synth. Got a password. Garage door opener doesn't work. Guess the front door is the only way out. Okay. So I have to do this without setting everyone else up. Okay. Um. How did I get in the basement again? I don't remember. Wait, didn't the clock have something to do with it? Yeah, the clock opened. Or the, the clock opened the basement. That's them. Bhagavad Gita. Steel wire leads up to a box with a little spotlight. I guess the power box in the living room powers this on it. Okay, so... That's where that comes from. What's this? I have no clue. Some will come by with the electronic company the installation, so the passcode specific form. Schematic combination in the cellar when done. Don't let them enter the attic. Open block 12. Okay, maybe I have to win Minesweeper first. So that's the the code for something. What is this? Output pressure on the pump should be set to 12 psi at all times. Do not touch. Okay.
Okay. Brand str static pressure pumps operation basics. Every Illich brand static pressure pump comes with a configurable set of pressure cylinders that can be arranged in any order. Normal cylinders increase PSI output by one unit of fluid. Heavy duty cylinders reinforced with bulkier housing increase PSI by output of five per... Okay. Left, output PS5 on the right. Okay. That's cool. I figured that out after the fact. Okay, up, down, up. Top, bottom, middle. For the synth. Top, bottom, middle for the synth. Top, bottom, middle for the synth. I know nothing about this. seems scratch seems to stretch into infinity just looking at it makes me want to hyperventilate i don't much want to know what's on the other other end but metal bars stop me from finding out okay so i have to find the synthesizer i want to see the little okay 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 there's got to be something here there's that Okay, so now I have the power up. Oh, okay. Um Okay, so the negative is on the negative, now we just have to get the positive up. Oh, we have to connect. Oh my gosh! I wonder what happens if I just kind of wait out the timer. Now, when I solve a puzzle, does it stay solved? You know what? Let's get attacked real quick and see if when I solve a puzzle it stays solved. You suck, dude. Okay. 
Okay, so I'm gonna go check Minesweeper. <laughs> Actually, I should check the bathroom. Because if I have to solve everything in one go while the killer is out, that's going to be kind of rough. One five. Okay, so that's gonna be downstairs. Right? And this lock here. Okay. I have to find a way to get in here earlier. Food in this tank is the source of all pumps in the house. When the when improperly calibrated, pumps position above this tank will drain automatically with gravity. For pumps position below, manual drain will be necessary using this button. Okay, so if I mess up below, I have to do that. Alright, I have to find the code for that. It's not 1978. It's clearly not 1978. I've tried that, right? Cool. Watch your step. I'm starting to think the workmanship on this house is pretty dodgy. Be sure your feet don't break right through the floorboards. What makes you say that? I closed one of the cupboards a minute ago and the damn thing cracked right in half. This whole place is like the cheapest quality wood Disneyland. Earlier, Gary opened the closet too, uh, too fast while doing a bit and the door almost disintegrated in his hands. Yeah, I've noticed that too. It's either poor workmanship or termites. Either way, I know we're a foot in the bill on the rental insurance. Cheap bastards. Oh, Pete is okay. Where's Pete? I think the others were chatting with him. Gary said they heard from him sometime yesterday. Said he'd be here tonight. But you made it here first. Y'all were actually in touch with him? I haven't heard from him forever. Huh, neither have I, really. Cliff, have you seen the power box in the living room? Do you know what's up with it? Oh yeah, that weird wall enclosure. A box like that controls electrical distri distribution. Usually, that'd be done with simple switches, but in this setup, some sort of wiring distribution is offloaded to the components inside the enclosure, which lets you choose where you send the juice. Looks like the power flows up from the positive and negative terminals to the bottom, either the positive and negative pairs to the left or right. You need to line up the connections to the tiles to form a continuous path from the terminals on the bottom to the matching pair on either side, but you can only solve one side at a time. Just connect minus to minus and plus to plus, and as long as plus and minus don't directly connect to each other, you're good. That thing is so weird, it looks like a toy from the Smart Kids store. Yeah, it looks old, and handmade, and ridiculous. Do you think the homeowner made it? I've noticed a few other gizmos around the house. That's my guess too, but I don't know why. If he didn't make it himself, he at least paid someone else to. The question is, why? Seems like he doesn't want to get sued, so everybody else is just ignoring the escape room puzzle in the living room. Maybe they don't know how abnormal it is. Whoever built that thing is thing was trying to keep somebody out of out of something else. If somebody's that worried, they probably shouldn't be renting out their house to strangers, and we should be sleeping outside. Also, FYI, that thing isn't going to work at all if it doesn't have power. That would probably be controlled by the main circuit breaker. You really know this much about the power box? I don't know. I feel like I've seen one like it before somehow. Like a weird kind of deja vu feeling. Talk to you later. Okay, so we haven't lost power yet, and this isn't open yet to go downstairs. I need to open. 
open this. I need to know why the hell I can't go down there. There's no other puzzle that I need to open upstairs. At least I don't think there is. And until the power goes out, there's not really much I need to do. Hey, Gary, what's up? I noticed that. Thank you. Alright. Uh, dude, come on. Back out. Talk to you later. I don't need to talk to you right now. Okay, so that's that, but I don't have any answers for these puzzles. I haven't seen anything yet. So until I can get downstairs, there's not much else I can do at the moment. I have to wait for the power to go out, then I can flip the main breaker, and then I can come up here and do that. So, at 10, I can do that. Okay, cool, 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 cool. This is open. Hit the breaker box. That's the same thing. Now I just have to get power over to the main th switch. even doable? Oh! That's the upstairs thing, isn't it? Okay, so this thing is going to come out here. I just chill. Okay, so if I die again, then I can probably solve this quicker. Oh, fuck. Damn it. Honestly, just fight back at this point. <laughs> oh, more uh, more backstory, I guess. Hope getting out here wasn't too much of a hassle for you guys. Emily, for real, the drive was fine. It would be like nothing for miles, except trees, and then once every hour we'd see cows or something. At one point we stopped at one of those roadside boiled peanut stands and we saw a guy... The guy ladled some of the hot nut water into his mouth, so we left without getting any. Ew. Sounds to me like you saw something that made you feel funny. I should tell a trusted adult right away. <laughs> Did a joke just go over my head? I feel like this is one, one of those Emily Francinisms, and none of us speak that language. Wait, you guys don't know this story? So, like, do you guys remember the local arts council held that mini-con in the spring? I get a booth 
and was crunching like crazy to churn out little paintings and designs while also doing homework poorly. And because I'm a good friend, I offered to help set things up to make her life easier. That, and I wanted an excuse to hang out and people watch. Emily sends me to Kinko's to pick up a box of freshly printed and very glossy, nice Autobio signs. Get them, get back to the con, just in time for the show to get going. I was excited to see how the books came out, because I was nervous about full bleeds and whatnot. And when I open the box, it's not my signs. Instead, it was instead a fully packed with a variety of public safety and surprisingly Christian pamphlets, like the kind you see in Dare, or the ones assholes leave instead of tips. I am having trouble reading this. I don't know why I'm having trouble reading this one. I'm just having trouble, like, enunciating all the words. I'm panicking because the print job was expensive and I was hoping to make my money back. And now I have a box of the shit people try to hand you at the grocery store, and the next booth to us saw the whole thing and wanted to read them. And I'm standing there feeling like the biggest idiot on planet Earth for ruining my friends' show. The Emily fans... Then Emily fans them out on the table, scribbles a little sign that says $1, and those things start selling like hotcakes. Turns out, disaffected stoners really love Dare uh, Ephemera. Ever since little snippets of those pamphlets will just randomly pop into my head. Drinking ain't cool, don't be a fool. Fool's an acronym, something about peer pressure, I don't know. I remember making Mad Libs out of fill in the blank questions in the back of a, uh, the pamphlet. Most teens really like alcohol. Francine, you made the best mistake possible. You saved me from having other people see cartoons of me unsuccessfully trying to convince the Krispy Kreme employees to let me have some of the burned up donuts they got stuck in the pro uh, that got stuck in the production line, having inexplicable panic attacks in the parking lot. No one needs to see that. So thanks you. So thank you again for fucking up so bad. Did they let you have the donuts? They did not. So you really took those old brochures literally, huh? What do you mean? Drinking ain't cool? That sounds like something you would say. I'm always afraid to drink around you because you get all judgy. You know what? I just realized I need to go find my, my binoculars. I'll be right back. It's messed up they don't just let you have the donuts. I mean, they're just gonna go in the trash anyway. Facts. Also, fuck you, Cliff. Em, you doing okay in here? Yeah, I just needed a second. You said that, yeah, like 14 minutes ago. Well, I told the gang I would bring these binoculars along for a trip, so I've been looking for them, and I don't think they're here, so now I'm... Curled up in a ball trying not to hyperventilate? Yeah. Yeah, I kind of figured. I thought you were doing great. I haven't seen you this on in a while. I think 20 minutes of on is all I can do. And I think I can only do that because Francine's wingmanning me. It's embarrassing. When we meet... When we met, it was all Captain Cool, helping Francine keep her shit together. But I'm not like I was back then in school. I don't even recognize that person. You don't have to be perfect for them to like you. You're their friend. They already like you. Did they like me or did they just like whoever that was? Unless you've been quietly struggling with demonic possession or something, whoever that was is still you. Look, I don't want to make you feel any more guilty about it, but I can only talk to your friends about data analysis for so long. You're fine. You're safe. They missed you. Even if they'll never forgive you for not being able to find the binoculars. Come on, I'm making tea. What, did you need a pair of binoculars to find the pair of binoculars? Get your feet off my table. Jesus, what are you, my mom? I just don't want you ruining my table. I eat on that. Cliff, we need to talk about the binocular joke. I'm disappointed in you. <laughs> Emma, it's okay. Laura turned it off. I know. You're really worried about this, huh? Like you're worried about me ruining your table. Cliff, cool it. I'm just messing around. You guys' apartment is so cute. It seems like a really nice area. 
will we even be able to see the shower? Will we even be able to see the shower here with all the light pollution? Come on, it's not that bad if you go like a mile out of town. Anyway, the moon is just a tiny crescent tonight. Barely any competition for the period, Perseids. Hell, maybe binoculars would be cool. Getting lost looking the Theseus Major, looking for Theseus Major and Gonad's district and all the other stuff the magic school bus tried to teach me about. Ah, hell. I gotta text my neighbor and see if she'll feed my guppies. You did not... You didn't take care of that before you left? I'm taking care of it now. Hot nut water guy got me thinking. Ugh. I don't like the sound of that. <laughs> that the hot nut water... That... That the hot nut water would probably be pretty good? Super umami, yeah. Obviously. But hot nut water guy also got me thinking... I feel like travel becomes way less stressful once you just accept that things are in a new place are going to be uncertain and weird instead of trying to control every last detail. Just go with the flow, like that time we were out in the mountains and decided to follow signs for a family fun center. And ended up in a burned down old ghost town with no signs of escape. Totally. The creaking of a distant rocking chair, unreadable old billboards bleached white by the sun. Tetanus on every surface. Gotta love the percolating sense of unknowable danger guys guess what i'm changing the subject what are we gonna get for dinner i'd go for some za i think we can do better than za emily you live here what should we get how where should we get food sure yeah let's just get pizza damn in that case, we better get going if we're gonna get Domino's before they close. Wow, crud. Okay, let me do the let me do the rounds of the apartment real quick before we go. Emily, seriously, are you still worried about your knobs? It's not that unreasonable. An apartment next door to mine was like, I guess, a crash pad for pilots who were coming into the airport down the road. The city shut off our gas, and nobody was around to turn the pilot back on. No pilots for the pilot light. They had one job. I'm taking heat for the binocular joke, and you can get away with that one. Right? Anyway, with the pilot off, the room was just slowly just slowly swelled with gas. By the time the landlord finally came by to shut off the valve, the apartment was so filled with gas that the windows had bowed out from the pressure. Sure, but ha that has to be rare. Rare, but it happens, and gas is invisible, so... I worry about that, too. The thing that bothers me is, like, what happens if my lungs are full of gas and it ignites? My lungs are getting, like, all burned up from the inside. Wouldn't the gas need oxygen to ignite? What's in my lungs if not oxygen? Guys, I think we should stop talking about this. Why should we? Listen, gas isn't some magic murder monster coming to kill you. You turn the knob and it's off. That's it. Pete, help me out here. Exactly, thank you. That's just what I'm talking about. Look, let me put the stress for you, Emily. See? And did we all die in a blazing inferno? No. So you can relax now. Wow, Cliff, you're right. I'm so relaxed now, if you'll excuse me for a moment. What the hell? I get that, though. Like, I, I get the social anxiety aspect of that, because I actually did have a house fire when I was younger. My house, like, straight up exploded. Though, I don't think I ever learned what the cause was for that. So that's concerning. Yeah! Parker again. I was locked out of the attic today because I couldn't solve your little puzzle. I don't understand what's so difficult about it. Next time you need to get into the attic, just press the buttons in this order. Oh. 
One, two, three, four. Okay, okay. I'm not saying I want a guide to your puzzle. I'm saying you should install a normal lock. Okay, well, now I know that. That's good. That's good. And that's going to be in the notes, right? Yeah, that's going to be in the notes. What is this? A broken, exposed wire. Touching this would be very bad. Except when the power goes out in a couple minutes. What is all this stuff? It's like some kind of messed up science experiment. I can't figure this out now. I've got to get out of here. Okay. 733. Okay. Now I know one of the puzzles for downstairs. What is this? Three, four, five, three, four, five. Sounds like opening this machine made something break downstairs. <laughs> Some kind of weird old science experiment. Can't figure this stuff out now. Gotta get out of here. Okay. Okay, cool. Cool. I have a puzzle for downstairs now. Perfect timing. there for now. Wait, was it? No, 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 no. This. 733. So you've decided to live forever. Is this it? Is this all you've ever is it all you've ever wanted? Don't worry, it's not going to hurt. It's going to take a long it's going to take a long time. Why it's good you chose to be this way. This is where you belong. We've been waiting for you. This was the only logical conclusion, and you're very smart. To be where you are right now, the five commandments. Heaven is already inside you. There's nothing wrong with lying to yourself. You never have to feel bad ever again. There are no mirrors where you're going. Nobody is going to miss you. Smile, you're here forever. Published by Corporal Works of Patronage and Mercy. Sounds awful. This is a lot more than I expected. Gary, I found your jacket in a little broom today. Put it in my locker. You can have you can have it back next time I see you. Please don't leave stuff in the steam tunnels again. At least not in the little broom. You know I hate the little broom. I guess this is a map, but it looks like a maze or a dungeon or something. How big is this place? What the... Parker Nest. Application fee plus donation paid. Administrator notes. Parker is not unlike a typical applicant to our society and across a range of social descriptors and pedigrees, he does appear to be a model applicant. However, after spending time with him, I'm convinced that his suitability seems to be based on a carefully... <sighs> 
curated and performed set of behaviors, all structured around a simple assumption. He's convinced he deserves to be here. On multiple occasions where I attempted to reach out to him, he instead jumped to prove his knowledge of our organization was greater than my own. How could anyone be so obsequious and so arrogant at the same time? Application status denied. I did that one already. That's the same thing. Old analog clock seems to reflect the current time. If you're wondering what happened to the other time clock, it's gone. Minnie's boy took it. Said he was going to experiment with it for some kind of art project. So frustrating. We all have we all have to line up a single file to punch out every day just because some pompous kid wanted to make some weird combination lock. Okay, that's not a good spot to hide. Breaking the mold, blah blah blah. I wanted to capture a pure feeling of anticipatory joy you have as a child feeding pennies into a machine that ultimately spits out a disappointing metal curve, and you cherish it anyway. Don't forget the combination for this door is posted on the bulletin board by the generator. Don't know, I don't know how you got lost in the hedge maze last time. It's not a big hedge maze, but the combination's there if you need it. <laughs> Okay. Wow, there's a lot of puzzles in this. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Oh god. Okay, I don't think that's fair. Okay. Sheesh. This is going to be so expansive. This is going to be a long series. Okay, that's clearly locked behind the, the cheating game of Minesweeper. Smithson Museum and Botanical Gardens. The studio space made possible thanks to Generation Endowment from Bertram and Minnie Nest, 1955. This is clearly locked. Not budging, I think the locking mechanism is controlled by a nearby device. Where's the murder boy? Wait, they're not dead yet? That's interesting. I wonder if you can even solve the front lock for now. Alright, well, we're gonna end this video here. It's been going on for almost an hour, and I have made no progress, but I've made some progress in making no progress. So anyways, if you enjoyed, be sure to like, subscribe, comment, all that good stuff. Typical YouTuber spiel. For now, I'm going to call it a day. Come back to Homebody. Thank you guys so much for watching. Have a good day, and peace out.